What is up everyone? It is two nights since you've seen me last. Last night we did not see a single thing of note. Look at that moon. My headlights just turned off so you can see it a little better. But it's a big one. And we're out here about to shine some cuts. Something funny back there. What is that? Anyways, we're being screeched out by some creature, so the night's already off to a pretty great start. But we're going to shine around and see what we can turn up. I'll keep you guys posted. We have literally just stepped out of the car. I mean, I, this, the creature's still screeching at us, but there is a beautiful copperhead right here. So that's already off to a pretty good start, if you ask me. Well, there we go. First snake of the night. Beautiful, healthy, adult Transpecos copperhead. Second we stepped out of the car. That is a beautiful snake. We're gonna photograph this girl and keep on shining though. Stuff is out. Great start. All right, guys, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the GoPro, but there's the next snake of the night that Sophia spotted. A uh, big old sub up on the cut. We're gonna try to get him down with the alternative pole. We failed at capturing the sub -oc. He went back into his hole. But anyways, snakes are out. We're gonna keep at it. Wait. <laughs> that is a big type of spiny lizard. Holy shiz. Look at that thing. That's a bearded dragon. That's a spiky bush. You gonna catch him or am I catching him? Uh, well, you know he's gonna get away if I try to. Oh, 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 whoa! He's on the ground! All right, I see him. You see him? Mm-hmm. You got him? No. Oh. You see him still? Yep. Oh. We're on even ground. You got him? I lost him again. He's somewhere in this agave. I see him again. No, I don't. I hear him. You see him? Yeah. Oh. Got him. Well, there we go, guys. Whoa! The fruits of our labor. The biggest Texas spiny lizard I think I've ever caught. These guys are basically like the arboreal equivalent of the uh, crevice spiny. They hang out in mesquite trees and things of that nature. But this is about as big as they come. Always cool to see a lizard this big in nature. But we're going to put him back in this tree he was initially sleeping in after chasing him all around West Texas. And uh, leave him be and keep shining. Go for it. Oh. Cool. Oh, there he is. Look at this little guy. Just hanging out. I don't want to blind him, so we leave him alone. But I haven't seen a snake in a while. It's really hot over here. All right, guys, it is almost midnight and we are still at it. Just the two snakes on the first cut we shined and uh, that's been it. But it's starting to feel pretty good. When we got out to where we were actually planning on going tonight, it was way hotter than it was supposed to be. We got out here, it was still 92 degrees. But as you can see, there's clouds moving in front of the moon, pressure's dropping and the wind's blowing a little bit. And there's a storm coming in so that is pretty optimal cut shining weather so we're just going to keep at it and hope that our luck continues here soon so i'll keep you guys posted i'm still on my first gopro battery so i've got plenty of charge left where all right guys steven just shined our next snake of the night this is a little rough green snake uh, until pretty recently, these guys were pretty uncommon out here for us, but this is the second one we've seen this year, and uh, a lot of other people have been finding him too. Check this guy out. He's got a lot of food in his belly, so he's got a big bulge right there. But anyways, this guy was sleeping, so we're just going to leave him to it and keep on shining. It's about, what time is it, like 1.45 or something? It's getting pretty late. Anyways, this is the first snake we've seen since we left that first cut, and it's been a number of hours, so... That's what that's from? I bet, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Catalina. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't We're not in Texas anymore. And Saunders is here. And Graham's here. And Kyle's here. 
What is up guys? I am coming to you in this episode from a very different area from where I'm normally coming to you or have been for the past couple videos. I am here in central, southern central kind of New Mexico in the uh, habitat of the banded rock rattlesnake and mountain king snake. We're going to be looking for some different stuff. Nice change of scenery. Beautiful pine forest here we're hiking through. So anyways, I'm out here with a couple good guys and we're going to hit it pretty hard this weekend and see what we can turn up. This is going to be an adventure. No one has ever clobbed this pile of stuff ever until now. Is this where the clobs are? This is, where, this is where the clobs are? I don't know why, but I don't find that hard to believe. Wait a second. This is what it's about. We've been about maybe 20 minutes into the hike and two seconds into the, the, the pile of rocks. And here we go. Kyle's got our first banded rock rattlesnake of the trip. I need um, blood. Saunders needs its blood, but I... <laughs> Take as much of it as you want. Oh, well, Oh, there's some there. Wow. Mildly interesting non-herp number one that we don't see in West Texas, but is here in New Mexico. A little uh, stubby thick cricket. Well, guys, it's been a number of hours since that first clob, and uh, here is our next herp of the day that we've actually gotten a good look at, a little Madrian alligator lizard. These guys are always fun to see, closely related to the legless lizards that we have in Georgia. These guys, oh my god! All right, guys, I knew we were starting to get into some good stuff when we started seeing all those alligator lizards. We caught the one and lost a couple more, and then a little bit later, I got buzzed by this girl. Beautiful adult female banded rock rattlesnake. I know the color's not going to come through very well, but this girl has some really good pinkish hues on her. Uh, pretty good highlights around the bands, but all around good looking snake, the second one of the trip. And uh, this is pretty much what we're here for tonight, so getting two of them is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I don't know where the other guys are. I'm here with Steven and Graham, but Kyle and them are somewhere further up the canyon. But uh, there we go. First snake that I've personally found this trip, I will take it. We're going to get some photos of this girl and uh, show her to the other people, and then we're going to let her go. Good looking snake. All right, guys, we found the other dudes. They were a little further up the canyon from us, and they found another nice-looking rock rattlesnake. This is definitely the nicest one of the day. Really crazy green highlight on the back. Nice pink coloration on the side. Clob number three for the trip and three for the afternoon. Not bad. All right, guys, here's another look at the third clob of the afternoon. This thing is absolutely insane. Definitely the best one we have seen so far. It has this ridiculous faint stripe down its back. Uh, just an incredible example of how variable and beautiful this species of rattlesnake can be. And they'll always be one of my favorites to look for. Anyways, we are going to let this girl go and probably start making our way back to the car. It's getting pretty late, so. All right, guys, we are losing light in this canyon pretty quickly. We're making our way back to the car slowly, but uh, we're going to end up probably shining the last bit of it. But uh, anyways, three clubs this afternoon, not bad at all. Got to hang out with some good friends and catch up and uh, find some pretty cool snakes in the process, so. Anyways, this is only afternoon one of what is probably going to be a two or three day trip here to New Mexico. So we are going to get up in the morning, probably hit some different spots and uh, hopefully be able to turn up some other snakes. So I'll keep you guys posted if we see anything else tonight. And uh, if not, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, Graham and I were shining our way back to the car when I saw this guy fly off that log. Another alligator lizard. We've been seeing a lot of these guys, but they're surprisingly hard to catch. Uh, this is only, I think, the second one we've gotten in hand. But another good looking, I think this one's like a sub-adult, small adult. I know they get a little bigger than this, but I'm not terribly familiar with this species, but. Morning, everybody. We're just out here uh, warming up our breakfast sandwiches. Getting ready to hit that, uh, that there talus over there and look for some rock rattlesnakes. Day two. Like I said, we were packing up camp. It got really cold last night. I was sleeping in a hammock and I was freezing. But uh, we're packing up camp, getting ready to head out for the day. We're gonna be hiking around in this canyon. Uh, for the morning and then we're gonna move to another canyon for the afternoon so all right guys it took a minute but here is our first banded rock rattlesnake of the day this looks like a female that has just dropped her babies Saunders spotted this girl but a really nice green coloration she's now in shed unfortunately but she's got some good green highlights there on what would probably be a pretty nice pink background but you can see her back end is a little floppy there which means that she likely just had babies which is awesome so we're gonna look around here for a bit and uh, see if we can turn up any of those babies or maybe some more snakes. But this is not the best looking claw, but it is 
uh, probably would be a real nice looking snake outside a shed. So we're just gonna get a couple quick photos of this girl. All right guys, here's one more look at the snake before we keep moving, but clob four for the trip and number one for the day. All right guys, here's another look at the canyon we're in today. It's just absolutely beautiful, pretty well shaded, lots of rocks and uh, Anyways, this is where we're at today. It's pretty nice. I personally think it looks a lot better than the habitat we were in yesterday. That's a lot of habitat. There's gotta be some snakes in that stuff. All right guys, well our morning hike was relatively unproductive, only one clob and uh, literally nothing else, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyways, it's pretty hot. So we're gonna go try to find some water to hang out by and maybe walk around there. All right, guys, check this thing out. D spotted this little guy. This is a hatchling Madrean alligator lizard. Ridiculously cute, ridiculously tiny. Let's see if I can get him to stretch out for you. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness. But this is just a ridiculously cute little thing. We're gonna photograph this guy real quick and let him go, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This thing is insane. It's hot, guys. We're taking a break. 